entirety of the power of the Holy Ghost. We come against disappointment and work of darkness. And my God, I pray you raise your hand upon your servant now as he minister the word of God. He will minister with the grace, with the favor, hallelujah, with the strength, with the wisdom, with the knowledge of the Lord God Almighty. Our hearts will be blessed. We pray that souls will be saved, sanctified, and filled up with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. So now we receive. Amen. Our night speaker, church of God, no other. Amen. That the right reverend grant.
sister that said yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bishop, thank you, sir. Thank you. You, you have caught the way, so I'll just make it easier for me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Quit he like men. Quit he like men. Hallelujah. Quit he like men. Come on. Quit he like men. When you look at the word quit, it's like you are doing something and you need to stop. And when I look up the word quit, the Greek word, what quit mean? A palaso. Meaning to free from or release. Hallelujah. If you are doing something and you quit, it means you stop. Hallelujah. So, Paul encouraged the brethren in 1 Corinthians to quit like men. Quit, stop what you were doing. For what you were doing was not necessary. So you need to stop. Turn from it. Get rid of it. You need to conduct yourself in a different manner. Hallelujah. But tonight I want to go right back to here. Bishop Gale was this morning, and that's First Samuel four. Hallelujah! And I'm not in any A's. Glory to God, because it's the word of God. It must be preached. You can sing and shout and dance, but the Bible tells me you overcome by the word of God. And if we don't have the word on the God side, they will lick you down because you don't have the word to back you. So we need the word because we're going to be clean through the word. Now, based on the scripture, Eli was a priest of God. He was the priest for Israel in those days. Eli was old, about 98. He was blind physically, he was blind spiritually. And he turned up blind eyes to what was happening in Israel. No, because Eli was the priest. He's supposed to make sure whatever is happening in the house of God, it must go right. Amen. Eli's sons started to do things contrary to the will of God. And Eli knows about it. And Eli refused from correct his children. And it angry God. And God was not pleased because of what Eli's children was doing. And Eli, the priest of the house, turned a blind eyes to him. And God said, Eli, I'm going to charge you for what you know. If we know something is not right in the church and we put it under the carpet, God going to charge us for it. As long as we know about it. Hallelujah. And it came upon a time when Israel and the Philistines in battle. Glory to God. And the Philistines defeat Israel. My God Almighty. And when Israel defeated, they run and they go and they get the ark. They got the Ark of the Covenant. And when they brought it in the tent, they began to shout. The Bible said when they shout, the earth rang. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And they said, get the Ark because the Ark is going to save us from the enemy. How can the Ark save you from the enemy when you are not connected to the source? God was not in the Ark. The Ark was a box that contained some things in it. But it represent God. And when you obey God and you connect to God, the ark will work for you. Israel was in trouble. But Israel only realized they was in trouble because they reject God. And when you reject God Almighty, you no matter where you want to use, if the pastor provides an anointing and you reject God, it can't work. Hallelujah. And when Israel began to shout, the Philistines get them going. Glory to God. And they said, What mean this? My God and my 
Almighty the earth return. The presence of God return. But little did the Philistines know that the presence of God was not there. Hallelujah. Just an empty shout. And the Philistines start to remember what happened in Egypt. And that made them even more fearful because of what happened in Egypt. But I hear one of the Philistines and listen to me, brethren. Put yourself like man. No, brethren, when I reach this verse, I have to pause and think about it. Because Israel should make this statement, not the enemy. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the occasion that we Christians give the sin over us? My God Almighty, the Philistines said, quit yourself like man. The, quit, the Philistines said, don't fear. That was the past we are dealing with now. My God Almighty, quit yourself like man. He is Philistine and fight. And the part that struck me, he said, don't be servant to the Hebrew. Israel should be ashamed of themselves when the sinner said, listen, don't be eat, don't be servant to them as they are to us. We're not supposed to let the sinner have any dominion or any power over us because we are God's children of God. But because we are walking contrary, because we are doing things that is not right and coming at church and wiping out the ground like foul, Lord God and but I hear the Bible said, quit yourself like man. Turn from your dirty ways. Stop what you're doing. Turn to God Almighty. Who oh, will leave a dirty thing that go on in a church? And people afraid to talk. Because if you preach righteousness and holiness, people now go to Africa. But I was living before you had your bad friend. And you are going to leave when you start chapping. So God said uh, to Simon, he said, you are your money perish. But I'm going to quit myself like a man. I'm going to stand. Uh, and I'm going to defend the gospel. I'm going to defend Christ. Uh, I'm going to defend my Christianity. I don't care what you believe. Uh, I don't care what you think. Uh, what you think and what you believe. Uh, will not move me. Because I'm standing in God. Uh, I am standing in God. Uh, and I won't let the devil. I won't let Satan. I won't let Satan have a beer. Uh, I won't let Satan messenger. Mess me up. Uh, Turn to holiness, turn to purity, and live by it. 